So, if you've watched my prior videos, you'll recall I demonstrated how to register your RAC LoRa gateway on the Things network. Since the time I shared that video, you may have also noticed that the Things network is migrating to a new platform known as the Things Stack, and that any gateways registered under what is now considered the Legacy V2 platform will lose support in December of this year. In this video, I'll demonstrate how I migrated my V2 gateway to the Things Stack. This is not meant to be a replacement for TTN's documentation. Rather, it's simply a quick demonstration of how I managed to upgrade my own gateway by referring to their docs. Having said that, I should note that migrating your gateway to the Things stack will break the Feather MO nodes built using Adafruit's tutorial, also demonstrated in one of my prior videos. TTN does have instructions on upgrading nodes to work with the Things stack, but there are some differences in the payload decoder required for the DHT22 sensor that I haven't quite worked out yet. I started a thread on Adafruit's website regarding the same, but I just wanted you to be aware in the event you've built and are using one of these nodes. Please see the thread shared in the description of this video if you need further details, and I hope to support or see a resolution on this challenge soon. Moving on, the next few minutes demonstrate how I upgraded my gateway to the Things stack as required by the Things network. Okay, so this view is showing you the TTN web page on the left and a terminal console on the right. And this video is really for folks who've watched this prior video on how to set up a TTN gateway on the Things network. Um, so to do this, uh, to do the migration, you're going to want to log in as you normally do. And uh, if it's in your cache, it'll just uh, log you in automatically. Um, this page should look familiar. Um, when you go to your console, though, instead of seeing the gateway in your applications, this is what's going to pop up, which is new. The Legacy V2 console is um, what will look more familiar to you if you've already watched my prior video and you've already set up a gateway. Uh, to migrate to the stacks or V3, you got to click on, in my case, North America, click on uh, whatever um, uh, region you're associated with, and it'll look somewhat similar to V2. I'm going to go to Gateways right here. I'm going to click on that. And in your case, you won't have a gateway yet registered. You're going to have to create one. Uh, so you'll add a gateway through that button right there, and you'll populate this uh, very much in the same way as you do for, for V2. And that, again, is explained in this uh, YouTube video right here. I'll, I'll include a link in the description of the video. So you're going to want to, head and, uh, want to go ahead and populate this accordingly. And depending on what region you selected, this gateway server address will be populated accordingly. And uh, once you've got all this populated, go ahead and click on Create Gateway. And when you do, uh, you'll see your uh, gateway set up right here, although it won't be connected. We need to do one more thing to get your uh, gateway connected. To do that, go ahead and uh, click on your gateway right here. And uh, you'll see all these, uh, all these details regarding your gateway, but more importantly, you'll see this download global underscore conf dot JSON file or link, which will allow you to access the file. And uh, you can go ahead and open it with, uh, with any uh, text file editor of your choice. And uh, here is that comp file. What's interesting about this comp file, uh, really the only difference between uh, this one and the one that's currently set up for, uh, for, comp for uh, the V2 gateway is this uh, server address. This network server address is going to be different. All right, so I'm going to get that out of the way. I'm going to minimize this. And now I'm going to shift over to my terminal window. So the next thing I'm going to do, of course, is uh, uh, tunnel into the gateway that's uh, mounted on the side of my house. You can see that uh, I'm logged into the root directory of that gateway right now. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, launch the gateway config app. What I'm going to be interested in doing is uh, editing the packet forward, forwarder config, uh, which is the same as that global underscore conf dot JSON file. And uh, you can see the directory where that file is located right up there in the top of the window. So um, I want to replace everything in this with the uh, file that, that was downloaded. 
So there might be an easier way to do this. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate a way that worked for me. Well, basically what I'm going to do is just navigate to that directory. And again, I'm not a programmer, you know, I'm brand new to Python and, and Linux operating systems. So there's probably an easier way to do this, but the way that worked for me was I basically navigated to that directory. There's the global underscore comp .json file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a backup copy of that in case I screw anything up. And I'm going to uh, basically copy it to global comp dot, uh, global underscore comp dot bak. And now if I check, you can see that, uh, that the file was created right there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that .json file. Now you can see that that file is gone. Now, um, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, go into uh, the editing the packet forwarder or the global underscore conf .json. You can see that it's empty now because I, I removed it. And I'm going to take all the details from that file that I downloaded from TTN and I'm going to paste them into that, uh, into that cleared out file. And again, there's probably an easier way to do this for you folks who know Linux operating systems. Uh, I don't know how to do this, um, but this did work for me. So I just basically copied and pasted it into a fresh copy of global underscore conf .json, which I created uh, using the, uh, the configuration app that comes with the gateway. I'm going to hit Control X. And that's going to allow me to uh, basically save the changes to that file. Then the next thing I do is if I try to edit it, you can see that before it was blank. Now it's got some, some uh, lines of data or code in there. And uh, you can see that now I do have a global underscore comp .json file. And the next thing I want to do is restart the packet forwarder. I'm going to say yes here. Now I'm going to quit. Let's get this thing out of the way. And now I'm going to watch the uh, live data console. Uh, that was uh, that was the last uh, data that was forwarded. I've gone ahead and I've edited that global underscore comp .json file. I've restarted the packet forwarder. So if everything's good, I should get uh, an update to my live data. And there it is. You can just see that I uh, pinged uh, the server, the TTN server. So that was all after I downloaded this global conf, uh, modified it on my gateway, and uh, went ahead and restarted the packet forwarder. So just to make extra sure, I'm going to go ahead and uh, restart my gateway. So you can see I'm doing a shutdown dash R now. And uh, that's the time, 1543.54 was the last uh, ping to the TTN servers off my gateway. Now I'm going to try to tunnel back into my gateway to make sure that the gateway is online again. So things have been speeded up here a little bit. Um, in any event, uh, I'm just waiting for that gateway to, to come on and accept uh, me being able to tunnel in, put in my password, which I'm doing right now. So the, the gateway is back online. And now I'm still waiting for, uh, for that live data to, uh, to update, suggesting that I can ping the TTN servers. And there it is. It just basically uh, pinged it again, which indicates that uh, everything is talking to the stacks or, or the V3 version of their, uh, of their servers. So now what I'm going to do is back out, look at my gateways, and you can see here that my gateway is connected. So you'll want to verify the same uh, by backing out and checking that. That's about it.